Hi guys, this is a quick review of the Canon X811 and the Panasonic, the VX980. I'm just going to compare them. This is a quick look at the size, the difference in size, and, uh, and then we'll have a look at what they both do. The Canon XC11 is really easy to use. The functions and the buttons are quite straightforward. Um, you just press the function button here and it, you can make changes to the white balance, the focus, the exposure, um, the mic levels. I've taken it off just now, but you can do image stabilizer uh, and you can do zoom. The Canon XC11 also has a double SD card slot here and it has infrared for nighttime filming if you're i don't know filming badgers or wildlife or <laughs> i don't know i don't even know when i would use it but i'm a blogger i'm not really a film producer um... Okay guys, um, I want to just quickly show you another function. Um, if you put it into manual, press this button over here and then press the button function and then go into recorded programs, uh, it gives you a few options here. If you go to the one at the end and press that one and then these are the different conditions that you can record in. So this one is um, the beach, this one is fireworks, this one is a night scene and this one is snow. Um, that's quite clever. Um, I, you, you do get that in the Panasonic as well, um, but it's just to make sure that you know that, that this has a lot more equipment and a lot more tools. If you are a little bit more serious about videography, I am, of course, a complete amateur at this. Panasonic, great little piece of equipment, um, very, very easy to use. It has the Lekia lens, which is one of the best in the world. It has a 25 zoom and it has, if you want to take a photograph here, you would just uh, press this button. It has wide angle and telescopic lens and a recharging point here. Okay, as I said, this camera is really easy to use. I'm recording just now on the Canon um, and we're taking a look at the Panasonic. Um, it's a nice little camera. Um, one of the features I particularly like about it, um, at this moment I'm on intelligent auto mode, um, but if you press this button here, um, Basically, it's allowing you to film in slow motion and it's going to give you three opportunities to slow down the film footage. Um, you just press your button on the, press your finger where it says slow and hold your finger there for as long as you want the um, film to slow down. Um, if you feel in post-production it's not slow enough, you can always change it there. Whereas with the um, Canon, you actually have to go into the menu and you have to change the frame rate. And I don't think you can switch between the two like this. So that's a nifty little feature that I really like. All right, folks, so this is us using the Panasonic, again, using the inbuilt mic. It's pretty cloudy, kind of moody day, and um, that's the town of Largs that you're looking at. So I'm going to just zoom out, um, and you can have a look at the footage to compare it with the Canon.
This is some street art uh, down at New Haven, um, just along from the Asda supermarket actually. Um, one of my favourite pictures has been taken down, so I don't know who the artists are. Okay guys, I'm going to try it on the Panasonic now, so um, just a little bit further along. I suppose the question you've got to ask yourself is really how much do you want to spend and um, how advanced are you going to take your videography? This Panasonic is, is great, it's brilliant, I love it, it's very very easy to use um, and it's so handy to fit in your bag or just to take anywhere especially if you're traveling and you've got restricted luggage allowance then this is a lot lighter. The Canon on the other hand is a serious piece of equipment and if you're thinking of videoing, videoing conferences or weddings or you want to take it up to the next level then this is your man. Um, I, I really love the colours in this though, it, it is quite exceptional uh, but it is a big difference in price so make sure it serves your purpose. Uh, my next video is going to be comparing the GoPro with the DSLR and um, the GoPro for stabilisation is fantastic, I have to say. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was great fun making it, actually. Um, New Haven is in Edinburgh and uh, the town of Largs is actually in the west coast of Scotland, which is really, really easy to get to. Um, you just take the train to Glasgow and then you take the train through to the west coast. OK. Guys, the best price I could find for the Canon was 875 at SLR Hut, and that's in pounds sterling. And the Panasonic, there's quite a few people offering it for £399 sterling.